Where am I? What's this painting? Right, I'm a Joseph's. Mm. What a night. Quite a celebration. Happy birthday, my friend. <laughs> Though, one drink too many. Mm. I'll check with Joseph and then I'm off to work. Ah, my poor head. Ah. Here it is. That's odd. I've been many times at Joseph's, but I've never seen this corridor before. The photographs seem very familiar, though. What's that? This room is bizarre. What's with this furniture? <sighs> if I don't go out soon, I'll be late for work. Let's try this way. Another letter? Can't even reach the door handle. Hardy ha ha. What a hilarious prank, Joseph.
A ventilation hole? How on earth do I fit in here? These are in the legs I'm used to. I know this sounds ludicrous, but can it be that I'm a bug? All right, stay calm. Let's fight Jazz and move on from there. from this high up. What a clutter. I think there is something on the table. Another letter? This liquid should help me climb up. What in the... Everything is fine. Fine? 
this is fine? destiny for yourself. For the best employees, restoration back to human form. Anna should bring my breakfast. I'm afraid that won't be possible. What do you mean, not possible? Preposterous, unprecedented, this is unheard of. And who then are you exactly? Were you expecting someone? 
On the contrary. I demand to know who you are. And is there someone behind the door? You seem excited. For sure I am. Does Miss Grubach know about this incident? I can't imagine this is acceptable for her. And who is in Frau Burstner's room? Do you know Miss Burstner well? She is my neighbor, of course I know her. I don't see how it's any of your concern. Just curious. How well? Uh, we are simply acquaintances. But why does that interest you? Has she done anything wrong? Why would she have done anything wrong? I have no idea. You tell me. Enough of this chicanery. Are you the police? Is Frau Burstner in some kind of trouble? Why would she be in trouble? I don't know. You come in. Ask about her. What makes you think it's about her? Well, it's certainly not about me. Now, is it? You are the police. Were you expecting the police? No. No, I wasn't expecting anybody, least of all you, whoever you are. I have to call Miss Grubach. Why do you need Miss Grubach? You just keep asking questions, don't you? Well, listen, you don't deny anything and you don't affirm anything. You just stand there and stare at me. <laughs> What's your name and your function? Why do you need to know? Actually, you're right. I don't want to know your name. Why am I even speaking to you? Miss Grubach! She cannot come at this time. Well, she can come at this time. It's her apartment after all. How long have you been living here? Long enough. But this situation is new to me. I won't say another word until I see the supervisor. I really need someone more intelligent to talk to.
Nothing happens by itself, Mr. K. Oh, give me a break. You seem to have an answer for everything. Because there is a re- Who's there? Let's see. Wouldn't you rather just stay here? I want neither to stay here, nor to talk to you. I didn't mean anything wrong. Didn't France tell you to stay in your room? I demand to talk to Miss Grubach this instant. That won't be possible. What do you mean, not possible? I want to speak with my landlady. No. You can't leave. You are arrested. Oh. Yes, it sure looks that way. Somebody must have made a false accusation. I don't see any other explanation. I'll get my papers. Preposterous. Okay. I seem not to be able to find my wallet. It might have been stolen from me. That would be most unfortunate. Indeed. How about you investigate that while you're here? Mr. Kai, our sole job was to look after you until the arrival of our supervisor. On the other hand, you should really calm down. I'm a very calm man. I'm very glad to hear that, Mr. Kai. How can I be under arrest? And above all, in such a way? Do you think we know anything about the proceedings of your case? We hardly know one end of the identity document from the other. We are merely junior officials tasked with watching over you for the next few hours. That's all we are. But we understand that before making any arrest, the high authorities that we serve make sure they're well informed of the case and the accused. Tell me then, for what crime am I supposed to be under arrest? We're not allowed to tell you anything more about your The feelings are on the way, and we'll be told that all is good time. I'm already breaking the rules of the right of me. I hope you can use a chance to do this. You're sure it's much better than I can be offered. Quite frankly, if you're left with the dark continuously, you know it's in the office. Tell me this, please. What do you think of that? What authority do you do the matter? Is this not a country of law and order? This must be all in yes. I bet I could laugh in your face right now, and it would turn out to be a joke. A birthday joke for my colleagues at the band. <laughs> it's unthinkable. Is it some kind of mistake? Is it a joke? I'll still be part of it. <laughs> I assure you, it's no joke, Mr. K. Nor can there be any question about there being a mistake. As far as I know, the judicial authorities don't search for guilt within society. Rather, it's guilt itself that attracts their attention. That's when we, the guardians of the law, are sent out. I don't know what you are. All the words for you, then. Why not? It's a law which is existing only in your head. Welcome, Lenny. I feel its long arm. You are making a big mistake. We don't seem to appreciate the fact.
Maybe you've forgotten, but unlike you, we are still free, and that is no small advantage. Take me to your supervisor as soon as he asks for it, not before. In the meantime, don't trouble your head with matters of no importance. Stay focused. There are many more challenges ahead. Besides, you think we'd let you see the supervisor dressed like this? He'd have you thrashed. And us as well. Let me be, for heaven's sake. If you surprise me while I'm in bed in the morning, you can't expect me to be in my best suit. Since a few weeks to get changed to meet with the inspector, Mr. K. It is better to hand your personal belongings over to us. My box. Ah, inside Just I off. should have. Oh, where is it? Uh... Ha! A bicycle license. I guess by the seriousness of this affair, a bicycle license should be enough. Enough for what? For identification. These are my documents. Now show me yours. Uh, and the arrest warrant. Dear God in heaven, why can't you simply understand your position and stop irritating us with all these pointless questions? I won't say another word until I see the supermarket. 